In this tutorial, I'll explain how to get started with PostGIS Editor and how to explore a dataset like Natural Earth with it. To install PostGIS Editor, you need to visit the GitHub page and click on the latest releases. Now choose the appropriate release for your platform. Download the file and unzip it. Find the PostGIS Editor executable and click on it, and now PostGIS Editor will start up. You should connect to an existing PostgreSQL database with the PostGIS extension installed, but let's download a dataset first. Natural Earth has a lot of cultural and physical themed vector data that we can import into PostGIS. Because this is not trivial, I prepared a Docker image for you online that you can simply run once you have Docker installed. Let's spin up the prepared Docker image. This will run a PostgreSQL database and import the natural earth vector data at startup. You can skip this step if you already have some data to explore. This will take some time, so be patient. Now the data is imported and the database will restart. And now it is ready to accept connections. After that is finished, we have a PostgreSQL database that is listening on the host port 5432 and now we can connect to it. The database is called Natural Earth and the user and password as well. Let's connect and get started with the first SQL query. Let's make a simple query to fetch all airports in Natural Earth. PostGIS editor will immediately plot all features on the map view on the right. And you can click on a feature to get more metadata about it. This will list all columns of that record. On the left, you have a table view where you can browse the result records directly and jump to a feature for more details. This is useful if you want to scroll through your entire dataset or for example search for a specific ID and jump to it. There are many more datasets in Natural Earth. To see a list of all tables, connect with PSQL to the database with the same parameters as before and list all tables with DT. Now let's choose the glaciated areas that show the recorded glaciers in the world. Copy the table name and just select all glaciers in the world. And PostGIS editor will immediately plot them. Natural Earth data always has a resolution prefix. There are low, medium and high resolutions for most features. The resolution is given in million meters and now we have the highest resolution and if we choose a lower one, we already see that the data is generalized and on the lowest one, we don't even see some features. Like at 110 million meters, we miss some features. PostGIS Editor also works with larger datasets. For example, you can plot all the railroads on the planet. But let's select a particular railroad and adapt the query to only show railroads on the continent Europe. So we choose the column and add it to the WHERE clause. We execute the query and we see that now we filter the data to only Europe. For larger datasets, you should always limit the amount of features you query. PostGIS Editor can show about 100,000 features at once. Thanks for watching. Natural Earth has a lot more data, and PostGIS Editor can do a lot more. So visit the repository and get started now.